middle page of your booklet. Hmm? Okay. I'm the wrong book. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Okay, 1.5 asks you about what are the constraints to you getting into the police force. Okay? So we need to understand what constraints are and how we might actually try and figure out what they are for us. So, can anybody tell me what a constraint might mean? Yes, okay, it's something that's a barrier, something that could stop you from getting or limit you from getting to where you want to be, okay? So a constraint in this instance is what is potential barriers or threats or my weaknesses that might stop me from getting in the police, okay? So to understand that for ourselves, what we've got in our booklet, but it's not in your electronic copy online, is what we call a SWOT analysis. Okay, has anybody heard of a SWOT analysis before? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a tool that we can use to break down what are our strengths in an area, what are our weaknesses in an area, what are our threats, and what are our opportunities. And you can apply this to anything. You could apply this to um, going on a um, camp, what are the strengths that we've got in our team? What are the weaknesses? What are the threats of, to us in our camp? What are our opportunities? So you can apply it to most situations. However, for you, what you can do if you want to use this is specifically in this one here, strengths, weaknesses, and threats, you can list down the things that you think might get in your way. So your strengths might be quite easy because you've already talked about the things Earlier on, I think it's in 1.2, the good qualities that you have that will help you get into the police. So you can just look, list, list those. However, weaknesses could be, name one big weakness that we've all got at the moment. <laughs> Physical fitness, bang, in there, okay? Uh, another weakness, no driver's license, okay? Um, another threat, or a threat could be um, that you, um, don't have the putia at the moment or the money to get your license because that's a threat, right? Um, so you can start listing all of these things. The things that are in your threats and your weaknesses boxes will be your constraints. So you could probably come up with two or three in each of those boxes and then what you'll do is for 1.5, each point that you've put in either the weaknesses or threats becomes one row in that particular. So that's what a constraint is. That's how you might use that process to actually unpack that because you probably come across this on the weekend and I don't want you sitting there freaking out not knowing what to do. Dear Pata, any questions? Cool, so just as always, I'll post this on the classroom just if you want to refresh your memory. If somebody from the rest of the team